I ask everyone that I talk to on the phone, and I average, you know, seven to ten, maybe twelve people a week for the last five, six years. I ask every one of them, has your doctor ever asked you or tried to determine with you what is the cause of your cancer? And the answer has been 100% of the time, no. No, My doctor has never even considered that or asked me about it, which is rather strange if you think about it. Because like any other condition, if you can understand the cause of it, it makes it much much easier to reverse. So I always go through with people, uh, at least try to determine with them what they think the cause is. And there are three causes that have boiled down to being 99 plus percent of the people I talk to. We, We can agree on one of these three or some combination of them as the cause of the cancer. The first one, of course, is an emotional trauma or some kind of shock of some kind. It can also be a long period of stress that occurs, unusual stress, which is not your normal job, your normal financial problems, your normal marital problems, that type of thing, but something unusual that that happens for some period of time. But most in most cases, people can identify a specific incident that triggered the cancer. And Quite often, it's as much as 6 to 12 months prior to the first diagnosis that the incident occurred. And usually, the the characteristic of the incident is that it is unusual and catches the person off guard. Uh, For example, a mother whose child runs into the street and gets hit by a car, not a very pleasant thought, but the mother will uh, develop later uh, a breast tumor. And it will normally, if she's right-handed, occur in the left breast and so on. All of this is part of uh, a subject which I've been exploring a lot lately called German New Medicine, which uh, has documented the relationship between certain types of shocks, emotional traumas, if you will, and certain types of cancer. A very interesting subject and one which everyone with cancer should explore because if you can identify this as the cause, it becomes not only does it take away all of the fear and the panic about the cancer because you'll understand that it is a normal body reaction to some emotional uh, shock and that the body heals itself of cancer once you have worked your way past that emotional uh, conflict, as they call it. The website to look this up and get more educated about it than we can tell you here today. We don't have enough time to go into it in detail. Uh, But the website is very descriptive. It's germannewmedicine.ca. The CA is for for Canada because the lady that maintains this is in, in Vancouver. Uh, her name is uh, Dr. Carolina Markelin. She is a PhD who has has learned this subject from the originator, Dr. Hammer, who is a German doctor, uh, a long story, which you'll find at the website about him. Uh, for the last 30 years, he has researched cancer and other, other uh, degenerative conditions and has uh, a set of concepts which seem to be scientifically supported by uh, a a mountain of evidence, and that's why I've become so interested in it recently. So that's the first thing to look at, an emotional cause and how to work past that. And there are lots of different ways to do that. Emotional freedom technique, EFT, is one. Uh, There's a wonderful book called The Emotion Code by Dr. Bradley Nelson, which is available on Amazon. Uh, The Emotion Code. And uh, I would certainly look that up. It, it's a book which helps you to determine what the emotions are that are trapped in your body, which your physical body is responding to, and to treat yourself to remove those from your subconscious and from your, your energy and your physical body and get well, basically, by simply uh, overcoming 
what he calls trapped emotions, which are very real, by the way, and which cause lots and lots of, of physical problems. But that is, is one simple way, a self-help way, to deal with an emotional uh, form of cancer. Okay, on to the second cause. There are three now. There are only three. The second one, of course, is the condition of your jaw, specifically root canal teeth primarily, uh, and other what are called cavitations. And we can talk a little more about that in detail later. But root canal teeth are a very, very common cause of cancer. They uh, frequently are related or are in the same person. Uh, the root canal teeth and the emotional shock are uh, coincident or more or less coincident. In other words, the person can have the root canal tooth, one or more, for years and not get sick because their immune system is strong enough. But once the immune system is challenged by an emotional shock or trauma, they get cancer. And of course, the cancer doesn't go away until the root canal teeth are removed because they are putting out toxins, the root canal teeth, every minute of every day that are more toxic than botulism. And most people in the United States and around the world literally have one or more root canal teeth. So these are a very, very common cause of cancer and all kinds of other conditions, including multiple sclerosis, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, ALS, all kinds of things. So if you think your mouth is unimportant, you're totally wrong. Uh, dental toxicity as it's called, is one of the major causes of all kinds of disease, primarily uh, heart disease is probably the most common uh, result of having uh, this kind of teeth in your mouth. So the dentist doesn't talk to the doctor. Uh, has your doctor ever asked you, have you had any dental work done recently? I doubt it. Uh, this just doesn't happen. But unfortunately, dental toxicity causes an, an incredible amount of uh, de degenerative conditions. So it's super important to have that taken care of. And the third thing that we talk about, of course, is what we put in our mouth. Of course, this is everything from s cigarettes to recreational drugs to sodas and what have you. But in most cases, it's simply the person's diet, what they've eaten, for the last 20 or 30 years has finally caught up to them in the form of some form of cancer. 